Hello friends, this video statistics part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 15. We have mean, we have median, we have mode, we have range, we have quartile deviation, we have mean deviations about median, we have mean deviation about mean. We have so many terms. So that means we will stop now. But no, there are some limitation of mean deviations. Mean deviation is not always true. Sometimes mean deviation is not able to give us clear picture. And thus we need some other form of mathematical representation to interpret data. We will see one example. So let's suppose we have two sample. First sample is this data 2, 2, 2, 2, minus 2, minus 2, minus 2. Second sample B is 3, 1, 3, 1, minus 3, 1, minus 3, minus 1. These are two samples. Now for both the sample mean is 0. If you take the mean of this, if you add these all this value, this becomes 0 by 0 is 0. This also becomes 0 by 0 is 0. So mean of both this sample is 0. Similarly, mean division about mean, since the mean is 0, mean division about mean for both A and B is 2. You can find this value if you want. So let's find mean division about mean for A. For A, the mean is 0. So what we have to do first? Let's find this xi will write xi here. xi is 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, minus 2, minus 2, minus 2, minus 2. Now we have to find xi minus 0 because 0 is the mean mod. So this becomes 2, 2, 2 minus 0, 2, 2. For this also minus 2 minus 0 is minus 2 mod is 2. This also 2, this also 2, this also 2. Correct? Now we have to find the mean deviation. Mean deviation about mean, so we'll add all this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 into 16, this is 16, and the number of terms is 8. The formula is sigma of xi minus mean this value because there is frequency is always 1 for this by n, so this becomes 16 by 8. This is 2. Correct. Now let's do the same thing for sample B. This for A. For B. For B let's write Xi. Xi is 3, 1, 3, 1. Minus 3, minus 1, minus 3, minus 1. Correct? Here also mean is 0. So we'll find Xi minus 0 mod. 3 minus 0 mod is 3. 1 minus 0 mod is 1. 3 minus 0 mod is 3. This is 1. Minus 3 minus 0 mod is also 3 because minus 3 minus 0 is minus 3. Minus 3 mod is 3. Minus 1 minus 0 mod is also 1 because minus 1 minus 0 is minus 1. And minus 1 mod is minus 1. So this is 3, this is 1. So if you add this, this becomes 4, 4, 8, 16. Here also n is equal to 8. So going by formula, md here will also be sigma of xi minus m mod by n. This is nothing but 16 by so you see in both the case mean is same median is same also mean deviation about mean is same mean deviation about median is also mean deviation about median mean is also same so that means mean deviation about mean is not always sufficient to represent data so what we do that's come thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos Try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.